There's nothing worse than thinking that your robot's operating, your lawn's being cut, then you find out it's not working, you have a loop signal error. What does that mean? How do you fix it? And it's frustrating for me at the moment because I was hoping this would be all cut. But not to despair, we're going to show you very quickly how to identify a break and how to fix it. So I've turned my mobot on and it's saying no signal, please set up the loop first. But hang on, I've got a blue light over there, so what is going on? All right, the first thing you should check are the connectors that you used to connect any of the wire because some connectors over time can erode and that can be the cause of a loop signal error. In other, in other words, there's enough current going through but not enough to make the mobile operate. Hence why you've got this blue light, but really it should be red because you haven't got this whole continuous loop and it becomes confusing. So first of all, check your connectors. Maybe you need to replace your connectors. If that fails, well, maybe we need to test the loop and I'm gonna use a tool today to make it super easy to show you how you can check for a break in your boundary wire. Well, your mobot dealer should have one of these here and this is a tone and pulse kit. So basically what it does is we connect these to the back of the Mobot. We're gonna connect these ordinarily where um, we'd have power connecting in. So basically we're gonna connect one to each end of the boundary wire. And what it does, it sends a continuous loop through that we can detect with this wand. And this will help us understand if we have a break in the line. Okay, so the annoying part, Open up your mobot. There's our wires here. So first of all, I'm gonna pull out the positive and I'm gonna connect the Klein tool to this side here with the positive connector. So I'm gonna find my red. Here it is, and I'll connect it to that. Then I've got my other side here. I'm gonna connect that to the negative on my Klein tools pulse and tone connector, tester, sorry. So they're connected. I turn on my device and I'm pretty ready to go here. Now I'm gonna get my wand. So I turn my wand on, maximum here sound uh, volume. If I put it right where I've connected, you'll hear I get a feedback loop, that's perfect. Because now I'm gonna use this wand to travel around and see if I can find the break in my boundary wire. Signal. signal. Now I like to walk along and find it's the wire because what I'm trying to do is find if I've got a connector perhaps broken or a broken wire in between I can start to trace it back if that makes sense. Now I'm walking along, I found this section here. You'll see there's a, an old type connector just sitting right here. And often these older connectors uh, have some metal, sometimes over time can break down. And I think this might be an issue and I'll tell you why. Because if I'm on this side here, really high strength. If I go to the other side, very low signal, right on top of it. So my guess is it's that connector there that is no good. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna replace that connector, and then hopefully turn the robot on, test, and hopefully that solves the problem. We have then a full loop signal and we're ready to cut this lawn again. And I couldn't have set this up better if I tried. I literally just grabbed this and see what I just found. I literally grabbed it and it snapped. Look at that. Now we've got a completely broken wire. We'll bang on the money. That is the problem. So I'm gonna snip that reconnect it, then test the line. So I've uh, snipped off the old broken bit and I've got myself some of the new gel connectors. These are a lot better. Uh, they're very less inclined to have the, the metal road in the middle because of the gel and the way they seal. The unfortunate thing is I'll need a couple of lengths here because I've got a, 
a decent sized break. So I've got a, a good piece of uh, replacement boundary wire. I'm going to connect it up, uh, use some multi-grips to secure it, and then uh, that should fix our loop signal error. Okay, so I have uh, connected two connectors. I actually don't like doing it so close together. I would normally have a few meters apart. So if I was doing a professional install or someone else's property, I'd have this uh, a lot greater distance. Uh, I just don't like doing it like this because it can interfere with the signal. Uh, ideally, what should be happening is because these are close together, it cancels here. So it should, in theory, be like a straight line. But again, I find it's a little bit messy. And ordinarily, I wouldn't want it set up this way. But for what I'm showing you today, it's satisfactory. Well, there's a storm coming, so I'm racing for time. So let's hope it's worked. So if we go down here, we can see that we have a blue light. So that's a win because we know that it was broken. So hopefully that has fixed the signal issue. Let's go to the robot and check it out and see if we can make it work. And now we're going to start the robot and hopefully she takes off after the boundary being fixed. Look at that, perfect. And she's away.